Hello friends, welcome back to online chalkboard. We are dealing with class 10 CBSE chapter 1 real numbers. And we have so far learned about Euclid division lemma, Euclid's algor division algorithm, the fundamental theorem of arithmetic, and also we learned how to prove ration, irrational numbers. And if you haven't watched those previous videos, the link is available in the description box. Do watch them and then watch this video. We are discussing today exercise 1.3, the questions of uh, how to prove any number is irrational. So I hope if you are watching this channel for the first time, these videos are going to be very useful for you, for except especially for class 10 students. Do subscribe this channel and press the notification button so that whenever we are uploading a new video, you get notification. And let's move on to our chapter, exercise 1.3. First question, we need to prove that root 5 is irrational. To prove root 5 is irrational. Each and every question, we can prove this using proof of contradiction. So the proof says, proof, we'll do exactly the same like we did for root 2 and root 3. Assume root 5 is rational. Therefore, root 5 can be written in the form a by b such that a b equals 1. Means we can find uh, a and b which are co prime numbers, and uh, since root 5 is rational, it can be written in the form a by b. Okay, and then we will say 5 root 5 into b is equal to a, squaring both sides, these are the steps you must remember, 5b square equals a square. And from this, I will get, you see a square is equal to 5 into b square, so I will say this implies 5 divides, what, a square. And by the theorem 1.3 which says that any prime number divides a square, it will also divide a, this implies 5 divides a which is by the theorem 1.3 that is p divides a square implies p divides a. So I got here 5 divides a and uh, now I will therefore let I, I can write a is equal to some 5 into c, c is an integer, c integer. So this implies I am substituting this in this first equation, substitute in 1, I will get 5b square equals a means 5c the whole square that is 5b square this implies 5b square equals 25c square so from this I got b square is equal to 5c square and I will you see I can write 5 divides b square which implies 5 divides b from the theorem 1.3 that is p divides a square implies p divides c. That theorem, this is a theorem which has uh, been repeatedly used to prove that root p is irrational. So I got here 5 divides b as well as 5 divides a. Therefore, the common factor of a and b is equal to 5, right? But this is contradiction to this, that the common factor of a b equal to 1, which is a contradiction. This is a contradiction to, this is a contradiction to, a b equals 1. Why did this contradiction come? Because our assumption was wrong that is root 5 is rational. Therefore, our assumption is wrong. So, we say therefore by proof of contradiction we can say that root 5 is irrational. This is our proof. Hence proof. This is it. You can try for root 7, root 11. For each and every question, you can practice more uh, about uh, root of prime numbers. You can prove that all of them are irrational using the same proof of contradiction. Now let's move on to the next question to prove that question number 2, 3 plus 2 root 5 is irrational. Here also we will do 
the same proof by contradiction proof assume 3 plus 2 root 5 is rational therefore there exist a and b we can write therefore is equal to a by b okay where b is not equal to 0 and a the highest common factor of a and b equals 1 so i am just rearranging this so i'll get 2 root 5 equals a by b minus 3 that is equals a by b minus 3b by b right and i can write a minus 3b by b so 2 root 5 is equal to a minus 3b by b that is root 5 equals a minus 3b by 2b which is actually a rational number since root 5 is expressed in the form a by b is something p by q form uh, therefore root 5 is rational since the left hand side is rational we got root 5 is rational which is a contradiction right which is a contradiction this is a contradiction too this is a contradiction to root 5 is irrational okay therefore since therefore our assumption is wrong what was our assumption this contradiction arises because of our assumption what was our assumption was 3 plus 2 root 2 is rational which is wrong therefore by proof of contradiction 3 plus 2 root 2 is irrational our assumption is wrong now this is true hence we proved by proof of contradiction and this is it this ex chapter is very easy this uh, section is very easy when it comes to proving we have to first take root 3 or root 5 in the form a by b uh, here after writing this question you can prove root 5 is irrational by taking root 5 equal to a by b then taking uh, squaring both sides and uh, saying that both have a common divisor other than one and coming to contradiction and proving this is all uh, so these are just the secondary part of the proof for root p now let's move to question number three prove the following are irrational one by root two we'll do the same proof assume 1 by root 2 is rational therefore there exist a and b such that 1 by root 2 can be written in the form a by b where b is not equal to 0 just cross multiply therefore b by a is equal to root 2 we got b by a is equal to root 2 that means this implies root 2 is rational we got root 2 is rational because root 2 could be written in the form b by a where which is a contradiction to this is a contradiction to root 2 is irrational right therefore assumption is wrong 1 by root 2 is rational our assumption is wrong our assumption is wrong therefore root 1 by root 2 is irrational this is the proof simple question simple question question number 3 second part 7 root 5 is irrational this is that we need to prove I will use the proof by contradiction again assume 7 root 5 is rational we will assume 7 root 5 is rational and uh, therefore 7 root 5 can be expressed in the form b by q a by b where a comma b is uh, equal to 1 and uh, b is not equal to 0 so it can be expressed in the form a by b and just uh, here uh, we are taking a and b which is called prime or we can also express it p by q anyway so i get root 5 is equal to a by 7b which is rational right 
So I got root 5 is rational because it could be expressed in the form a by 7b which is a contradiction which is a contradiction to what? That is root 5 is rational. This is a contradiction to root 5 is irrational. Therefore, our assumption is wrong. This implies 7 root 5 that is product of rational and irrational number is irrational. So, we got this proof right. Uh, so, if it comes for a big higher marks, you will have to prove separately root 5 is irrational. Now, let us move on to the last question of this exercise. We need to prove that 6 plus root 2 is irrational. 6 plus root 2 is irrational. We use the same method, proof by contradiction. Assume that 6 plus root 2 is rational. And we see this implies 6 plus root 2 can be written in the form a by b where b not equal to 0. If suppose a and b are the least having the simplified form such that a b equal to 1 anyway. So, I can write root 2 equal to a by b minus 6. Difference of two rational numbers is also rational. So, a by b minus 6 is which is rational. So, I got root 2 is rational which is a contradiction. This is a contradiction to root 2 is irrational. We know root 2 is irrational. Therefore, our assumption was wrong. 6 plus root 2 is not rational, it is irrational. We proved by proof by contradiction that 6 plus root 2 is rational. So, after this, you can even prove root 2 is irrational separately to complete this proof. Actually, this much is enough for higher mark. If you require more marks, it comes into bigger, uh, higher mark questions. You can prove root 2 is irrational separately. So, this is it for today. We have completed our exercise 1.3. Do practice more questions related to how to prove a number rational, irrational. And um, in the next class, we would be discussing how can we see if a number is rational or irrational by seeing its decimal expansion. So, this is it. We have completed till exercise 1.3. In the next section, we will be discussing about how to see a number is uh, irrational number or rational using its decimal expansion. Uh, today, we have proved if a number is irrational. So, practice more questions related to this. And if you found this video interesting, share this with your friends. And if you like this video, do support us by liking and sharing. And thanks for watching. See you in the next video.